Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fireside Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards with Sagittarius this morning for the first half of April. I apologize for the delay. It has been a crazy couple of days. And I haven't been feeling the greatest. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's my allergies. I'm really kicking up. Because it is that time of year, you know. And I suffer from seasonal indoor and outdoor allergies. So I'm pretty much miserable 75% of the year. Anyway. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of April. If it resonates with you, cool. Is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to by the cards if you choose to do anything at all? It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, you can just forget you ever saw it. That's fine. Um, or you can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. Because sometimes those resonate better than your Sun sign. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. And if you're cross watch or popping in, you're welcome here too. Alright, two more. We'll get your cards on the table, Sagittarius. Oh wow, I have 2% battery remaining. Holy cow. My, oh my. I did not know the battery on this thing was that low. Okay, where are we at? Ah, uh, Sagittarius, why are you here today? Ooh. The shadow side. Otherwise known as the devil card in a standard deck. Very powerful connection you could be dealing with Capricorn don't have to be. It's a powerful binding connection. <sighs> Could mean it's just highly sexual. Could mean it's highly toxic. Either way, it might not be such a good positive connection for you. Let's see what else we got going on here. Okay. There could be a little bit of obsession going on here too. Alright, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with, Sagittarius? You feel like there's potential. You got the Ace of Cups. That's the beginnings of something beautiful. That's awesome. What do you think of them? Six of Swords reversed. Hmm... That's a card of return. Hmm. You could think that they haven't quite moved on from something. Like, in their thoughts. You could think potentially they have some baggage they haven't unpacked yet. Okay. What do you want from them? Nine of Cups reversed. Hmm. This may be where the toxicity comes in. That is a card of not filling your cups with the right things or being emotionally unfulfilled. What? How do they feel about you? Ace of Wands. They got some passion for you. I think this is definitely the beginning of something very passionate, something that can move very quickly. What do they think of you? King of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. 
They could think they may not have enough to offer you, or you don't have anything to offer them. We'll get some clarity. What do they want from you? Ace of Swords. Hmm. Communication, new thought processes. We'll get clarity. Wow, Sag, kind of kicking my butt this morning. Maybe I just haven't had enough coffee yet. What's the challenge? Four of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's got to let something go. The challenge is release. What can be done? What needs to be done? Five of Cups. Somebody's still in a state of sadness. Potential outcome. Page of Cups reversed. Somebody's going to reject an offer. All right, let's uh, get a little clarity. Do the everyday witch to clarify. Okay. Hmm, universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for Sagittarius today? I gotta finish the cycle today. I'm already like a week behind. I don't like that. Clarity for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm hearing one more. One more shovel. One more shovel. All right, what's the shadow side doing here? Nine of Cups reversed. On somebody's part, this is not emotional. This is, this is, this is sexual. Or at the very least, it's not emotional. I mean, obviously, you're not quite on the same page. You know what I'm saying? You both are in agreement that it's the beginning of something wonderful, just different sides of something wonderful. Or the potential is there for the beginnings of something wonderful. Why is the Ace of Cups here? One card. One card for the Ace of Cups, please. Eight of Swords. You feel like there's a potential for something to grow into love, but you're still all wrapped up in something else. Your thoughts are consumed by something else. You could be tied down to someone else, possibly an air sign. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Thank you. Queen of Wands reversed. One more. Because that's lack of passion, lack of forward movement. One of you was unfinished business elsewhere. The world card reversed came out. Like it's moving at a strange pace. Like you think they haven't moved on from something. Because the Six of Swords is reversed. And with the world reversed... 
There's something they didn't close out yet. They're still sitting on a cycle. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here for what Sagittarius wants from the other person? Page of Wands. Forward movement. Five of Wands. You're not emotionally fulfilled. There's conflict here. I think whoever you're dealing with may be easily offended or easily like riled up. Like eggshells. Or you could be that way. I'm sensing eggshells. Dude, I'm reading. No. Shut the door. Please. Thank you. Why is the Ace of Wands up right here for how the other person feels about Sagittarius? Hi. Two of Cups. Mm, that's good. New passionate connection. Oh, wow. Well, page of Swords. In reverse, we fell. Its pentacles reversed. That's interesting. They feel the connection. They feel it passionate. They think you like, think alike along the same lines. You communicate well, but someone's holding something back. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? I just heard overwatering. Someone's overwatering the connection. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Cups upright. Oh, nothing to give. They're fulfilled emotionally, but you're not. Four of Pentacles. They think you're holding back. Sagittarius, you could be the one with unfinished business. That's very interesting. It's like you're barely mirroring each other, but you're mirroring each other.
Wow. Okay. You both see the potential, but... I don't think you're being honest with each other. I think you both have something to hide. And that's why this relationship is potentially toxic. And, you know, it's... Okay, the Knight of Cups, he's non-committal as it is, but when he's in the reverse, he's going to fly away at any second. It's like a meanwhile. You know what a meanwhile is, right? It's the person you date when you're waiting for someone better to come along. Or it's the connection you allow yourself to get into just because you're sad or you're lonely. And Sagittarians will never admit to doing this to themselves, but we do it all the time. Six of Wands reversed. You're not feeling the victory. They think you're emotionally fulfilled. They think you're happy. But they know you're holding something back. Wow, that's crazy. They're not feeling the victory. They're, they're feeling like they don't have enough to give you. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here for what the other person wants from Sagittarius? Magician. <laughs> they don't want to get this going. They want to manifest this. They want to be on the same page communication-wise. The devil just popped out. They want you to feel it with the same intensity that they do. And you just don't. You're almost like put off by it. Like you're ready to fly out. You're so put off by it. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here? Thank you. Four of Cups reversed. The challenge here could be one of you or the other or both. You're spending so much time looking at the shoulda, woulda, couldas of the past. You're not seeing what the universe is trying to hand you. You're holding on and you need to let go. One more on that. came out. Nine of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles represent someone who has their crap together. They got money in the bank. They're good by themselves. They're independent. Three of Pentacles, as a three, it can represent foundation, beginnings of possibly new business ventures, merging of bank accounts, things of that nature. In relationship wise, it can also represent a third party situation. The challenge here is somebody has a let go of a third party. And somebody's better, you would just soon be alone. Because of the coulda, woulda, shouldas, they can't see 
the universe is trying to hand them. There's a potential for a third party situation there though. Not necessarily torn between two lovers kind of a deal, but just someone knows an end on the business, know what I'm saying? Why is the five of cups here for what needs to be done? Why is the five of cups here for what needs to be done? You want to talk. Emperor reversed. Not allowing oneself to be vulnerable and process the pain. Two of swords. Reversed. Being afraid to make a painful decision. I'm going to stop here for a second. I'm a Sagittarius, so I can say what I'm about to say. And I don't mean to put my brothers and sisters on blast, but I know how I am. And over the course of the last year and a half, two years, I've learned why I am the way I am. I don't totally blame the stars, because that's not what learning about your birth chart's about. It's about transcending your bullshit, which is what I'm desperately trying to do. This nasty, nasty habit of when we get hurt, we pretend it didn't happen. And we truck on. We, it's like a switch. Oh, you broke my heart? Bye. I'm not gonna know your name in six months. Then you see them six months later and you know their name. And you remember how bad they hurt you. But, and then you cry an ocean of tears about it. Because you failed to process the pain. Six months earlier when the event happened. Because you just struck down with life. And it's, it's the Sagittarius powder keg. We pound it down and pound it down and pound it down and pound it down. And you, you remember those old Looney Tunes cartoons? Where... There's this powder keg that's just busting at the seams and it's starting to buckle and the fuse is about that short. <sighs> and one wrong thing is said at the wrong time or you see the wrong person. <sighs> and then you're like on your couch crying into a six pack of beer and a bucket of chocolate chip ice cream <laughs> watching old ladies movies because you didn't process something that happened six months ago. Because you didn't want to feel it. You need to process this. You need to allow yourself to be vulnerable. You need to process the three spilt cups. Yes, acknowledge there's still two full cups. But you need to process the three spilt cups. They're spilled. They're done. It's over. It's not going to happen again. Because you have still have two cups full of blessings. You're still up here in the challenge. There's somebody over here trying to hand you a cup. But you don't see him. Because you didn't let go. Why is the Page of Cups reversed here for the potential outcome? I'm stepping down off my soapbox now, by the way. There it is. Ten of Pentacles. One more. The strength card was hanging out in there. Reverse.
Five of Cups. This outcome makes no sense. Except that no matter what happens, you're going to be okay. You get your Ten of Pentacles ending. You get the big brick house. The 2.5 kids and the dog in the pool and the picket fence. And the cute little lilac bushes out front. You get all that. You might not get it with this person. But eventually you get all that. But holding on to that kind of pain is extremely draining. Isn't it? It's extremely draining. Until you process it and accept it and move forward, new love can't come in. You see it as toxic because I got hurt before and I don't want to get hurt again. Who does? Who wants to get hurt again? Nobody wants that. But it's not going to happen every time. So don't set yourself up for relationship failure just because you got hurt a couple of times. And the light bulb just went on that I should probably take my own advice, but we're not talking about me, we're talking about you! This isn't about me, it's about you. Eight of Cups. Move forward. Move forward. It didn't work out. You have to move forward. Top and top. We're reversed in the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be sad. It's okay that it didn't work out. Because there's an upward turn of events coming here. The next one may, but you have to allow it, Sagittarius. Okay. I'm coming down off my soapbox now. Sagittarius, my brothers, my sisters, my soul family, you guys... It might be just because I'm Big Mama Satch. And I feel your pain. But you guys have been the most supportive of all the 12 Zodiac signs over the last year. I am eternally grateful to all the Saggy Suns, the Saggy Moons, and the Saggy Venuses, and the Saggy Risings that come visit me and my channel every time I upload and see what I have to say. And let me just stand on my soapbox and bitch for a few minutes. You guys are wonderful, and I thank you all so very, very much. I love you to bits. I will catch you guys again later today for the work week top and bottom, and in a couple of weeks for your second half of April reading. Be blessed. Have a good time, no matter what. Because this is supposed to be a fun journey. It's not supposed to be all sadness and brouhaha. It's not supposed to be all sunshine and roses either, but it doesn't have to be all negative vibes. So, good vibes only. Catch you next time.